Hey guys, so I know it's been a while. I just wanted to pop on and say hello. A couple of you had asked for a kitchen tour, like when we were done, not a kitchen tour, but just kind of when we were done doing our somewhat remodeling. We did a little bit of remodeling. We replaced our counters and, uh, oh, our backsplash. I'm like looking at it right at it. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? And then our sink and our faucet I think we're gonna eventually, if anybody has black matte appliances, let me know down below. Or if you have stainless steel and you like that better, we have white, like we still have our white stuff. And then we have a stainless steel fridge. And then our dishwasher is really, really old. So I really don't know what we're gonna do. But anyways, I'll just give you a quick little, I'll show you my Halloween, I, I put some, uh, bats up there this year. I really went minimal with my decorating. I just, I don't know. I just didn't really feel like putting a bunch of stuff out. So this is a sign I got from my daughter's store. I just put that simple little Ray Dunn thing there. I have a fall sign that was hand painted by a lady. Then over here, I just have one treat. I always like, before I would go crazy with the Ray Dunn, like I had canisters up the yin yang. I think I have a bowl that I didn't put out. I just didn't want to do it. So here's this and it's that, excuse all that. And then I just have this here. Sorry, we keep the dog food by the, by the um, door here so we can get Champ to come back in. But I just have this little stand. This usually doesn't go here. It usually goes somewhere else. And then on the other side over here, I have just my Harry Potter and globe. I, I have like three or four of these globes and I just wasn't feeling like going nuts this year. So I just kept it really simple. So you can see, let me see if I can find a piece of art granite. So you can see it's got kind of these burgundy purple speckles in it. I freaking love it. I was never one of those people that was like, oh, we have to have granite. You know, when you watched House Hunt, or if you ever watched House Hunt Hunters, they would always be like, oh, we have to switch that to granite. We have to change that. And I was always like, I'm not gonna be one of those people, but this was the pattern that we really liked. I think my husband actually really liked this one quite a bit. So yeah, you can just see these like little red speckles. And that's what I really love about it is it has these like little flex in it that's super cool. So we did that and then we have our sink. We did a, I was gonna do a farmhouse style sink, but then I talked to a friend. Um, you know who you are, thank you. <laughs> she had said she didn't love her farmhouse sink. So we went ahead and just did a deep, I don't know what this is called actually, but it's very heavy. The granite guys had a hard time, like they had to belt it in underneath and do all kinds of supports and whatnot. This is our faucet. It's a motion censored one. So that little spot right there is where you put your hand and it'll turn your water on and off for you. So that's pretty sweet. And then, so here is our backsplash. It's just a white glass subway tile that we picked or we decided on. And that was that. Uh, we looked at colors for a long time. We looked at gray we looked at ones that had patterns and we just thought you know what with the granite it's just gonna look so busy if we go with a pattern and also i was like gray is a big commitment you know like gray like we may not like gray in a few years white is just standard you know just it is what it is so that's what we did um that is how my sink stuff here like normal i use the oils to, um, I use the oils to put down my garbage disposal like when I'm cleaning it. Just makes it smell good and it's a good way to use some oils. So I have my Scentsy warmer there. When you look at it from the front, you can't see the cord. So the cord hider does do its job. And then let me just slowly turn you, hold on. <laughs> so let's see, I showed you that. So yeah, and then so what we're thinking is with the oven, we want to change to black matte, and then we change that to black matte, and then the refrigerator black matte. But I just, I don't know. So, anyways, um, let's see, where should we put you? 
So I'm just going to talk for just a minute. I'll put you in front of Spooky. <laughs> so I have hauls. I have more, melt, you know, melts that I haven't talked about. I have what else? Um, I was going to put together a melting basket, but I have quite a few hauls that I just have not done. One, we were having the granite changed and then that took up a lot of time. Then we had the carpet put in and then we had the backsplash done. And in between all that, amongst all that, Tim and I got the, um, I'm putting in air quotes, the sickness, I guess if that's what you want to call it. I don't know if YouTube like scans those words out or whatever, but so yeah, like I was so upset because we had gone, you know, pretty much all this time without, you know, we've been masking and, you know, well, I've been staying away from people. He obviously has to go to work and he actually brought it home from the hospital. So, um, that's where we traced it back to is someone in the hospital had it. So we both had it. I had it for, well, I think we both had it about the same time. We both had it about two weeks. I think Tim got a little bit better before I did, but I had a fever for two whole weeks and then like the 15th day I finally went 24 hours or is it 48 hours without a fever so I was finally okay but it took me almost a good like three weeks after to finally feel somewhat normal I had a lot of fatigue the third week I had a lot of coughing and like throat issues but I was you know I was good I was good to go um, it just lingered. So yeah, it really, really sucked. <laughs> um, I feel very fortunate though that, you know, neither of us had to be hospitalized or that nothing horrible happened, you know, cause it always could, you know, it always could have been worse. Anyways, I really like this warmer. This is the In the Clouds from Scentsy. They have a blue bulb. I thought I had bought a purple bulb or a red bulb for Halloween, but I did not. So screwed myself. <laughs> But anyway, so that was that. So, I mean, that took, like, I lost, like, two weeks of, like, my life. Be well, I mean, not to, that's not to be, like, super dramatic or anything. But, I mean, if you've had it, you know that, like, you sleep, like, nonstop. I didn't even want to watch Netflix. I didn't want to watch TV. I didn't want to do anything. So, I just feel like I lost, like, two weeks of my life. If anyone else had it, let me know, like, if that happened to you, too. Because... I like one day I woke up and I was like damn like I didn't like who like usually when you're sick like you want to watch like TV or a movie or something I didn't even want to do that like I just I literally slept so yeah that's that okay so that is that I have um, a destination wax haul from the summer I am gonna do a teddy bees anti haul <laughs> And talk about that just a little bit. I have a rainbow melts haul, which I do want to talk about rainbow melts. Uh, what else do I have? I have a that smell good shop. I haven't been ordering from like my big ones. Oh, I have uh, super tarts. I guess that's one of my big vendors that I always like kind of order from. But that smell good shop has really been impressing me with their throw and just she's easy to order from and she always seems to have you know quite a few cents. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Who else do I have? I feel like there's someone else in that stack. Anyways, I have a ton of melts. I'm probably going to go through them like fairly fast. Oh yeah, I did lose my sense of smell for two or three days. Any of you that I talk to on a normal basis, well, there's only like two or three of you out there, but um, you guys know that I was freaking out because I was like, oh my gosh, I have all this wax and now I can't smell. <laughs> it's like the weirdest thing. I was like so like shook. <laughs> I was like, I can't smell. And then like three days later it came back. So that was good. I never lost my, my taste. Uh, Tim did, but I, I didn't have that experience. I don't, at least I don't think. I didn't really eat that much to be honest while we were sick. I really kept it, um, I really just, you know, I didn't really feel like eating. So I really didn't eat that much. So yeah, so that is that. That is the new kitchen digs, which I really love. I, I, um, you know, it's hard when you're, you know, when you don't have an interior designer or whatever to figure some of these things out for you. So yeah, it was nice to finally have it done. We were trying to envision like what it was going to look like. We had no idea. So 
Anyways, I hope everyone is doing good. I have missed talking with you guys. I've missed like seeing comments and hearing what you guys are up to and all that. So yeah, um, I miss you guys. I hope to like be back in like regular format soon, but I don't know, you know, it's like, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of reaching this point where, I don't know, I'm reaching a weird point in my life where I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know, let me know how you guys feel. I'll talk to you guys soon and I hope everyone is having a good weekend. It's the weekend here. It's Friday, baby. No, <laughs> it's kidding. It's actually Saturday. Um, <laughs> I had to say that. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.